Hello everyone, my name is Danny from creatingwebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create attributes in Magento. Now before we can create an attribute we must understand what an attribute actually is. Uh, so to start let's go to catalog and manage products and I'm going to uh, create a product just so that I can explain to you what an attribute actually is. Attributes are fields and select menus that you find on the product creation page. For example, this is an input field. This is an attribute. This right here is a drop down menu. It is an attribute as well. This is a date field. And this is an image field. And this is a text area. So these are attributes. When you create an attribute, you basically add additional fields to the product creation page. So to create an attribute, we simply go to Catalog, Attributes, and then click on Manage Attributes. Once on the Manage Attributes page, simply click on Add New Attribute. So to start, I will be creating a design attribute. This attribute will be in the form of a drop-down menu. I will select Website, and I will select Dropdown. Is this a unique value? No. For example, if this value will be shared with other products, you would want to answer no. Is values required? Yes. Input validation for store owner? In this case, no. Apply to all product types or selected product types? I will select the product type. I will select simple product. Note that some input types aren't compatible with all product types. Would you like this to be shown in quick search? This right here, this is quick search. Would you like this to be shown in advanced search? If yes, this is where it would show up. Would you like it to be comparable on the front end? When your customers are comparing products, would you like the attribute to be shown there? Would you like the attribute to be shown in layered navigation? This is layered navigation. Would you like this to be used as a promo rule condition? Yes or no? In my case, yes. For example, let's say you were to create a color attribute. And let's say you would give that attribute the color red. You can actually set promotions for all items that are red by enabling this. The position. Where would you like this attribute to be positioned? For example, you can enter in a number. So if you have two attributes, the one with the lower number will show up on top. Would you like to allow HTML tags on front end? Yes or no? Visible on product page? This is where attributes are visible. Would you like this to be used for sorting and product listings? In my case, no. Now we go to manage label options. Here I will enter design. And now as for the options simply click on add option and here I will enter in crew neck and this will be positioned at 1 and this is default and now I will enter in V neck and this will be positioned in that 2 so crew neck will show up above V neck when I create an item and now I save the attribute so now my new attribute design has been created. Now before I proceed any further, I'd like to explain a little more about how attributes work. For example, some validations do not work on drop-down menus. You might want to use validation on a text field. For example, if you're going to enter in a URL, like let's say the manufacturer's website, you would then want to use URL validation. As for allow HTML tags on front end, this again depends on the type of attribute that you're setting. So now let's proceed to attribute sets. Simply go to catalog, attributes, and manage attribute sets. Once on this page, we can use an attribute set that we've already created, or we can create a new one. 
To create a new attribute set, simply click on add new set. And now we're going to type in a name. In this case, it will be t-shirts. And it will be based on default in my case. In your case, you can actually base this on another attribute set. And click save attribute set. On this page, we can create groups and we can add attributes to them. I will actually create a group and show you how it works. But first, let me explain how attributes work. For example, attributes with a red circle cannot be removed because these are system defaults. Anything without a red circle can be removed, for example, manufacturer or color. In this case, I will remove manufacturer by simply dragging it over here. And I will keep color and I will add my new attribute, design. But instead of adding it to general, I'd like to add a new group. So I will add a new group. And that new group is called my design. And I will drag design to my design. And I will also move color to my design. And now I will click on save attribute set. And now I will create a new item with my new attribute set. So I go to Catalog Manage Products and then I click Add Product and then I select my attribute set which is T-shirts and then I select Simple Product and I click on Continue. And now my new attributes are shown in my design. And as you can see here they are. This is what we created earlier, crew neck or v-neck. And color we also added earlier. Of course, we could have added these attributes in different groups. For example, we could have used existing groups such as general and we could have added the design there and then it would have shown up over here. So that's how attributes work. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.